friends, it's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead and today Gracie is working on making some scrunchies. Uh, we ran out of hair ties, I could never find them and I have extremely thick hair <laughs> and it's always a problem when we run out of them here in the house and so yesterday I mentioned to Gracie, well, why don't you just make me some scrunchies and we looked up a simple tutorial and she has been at it ever since and hasn't stopped making scrunchies and so I thought we would share her method for making them with you in case that's something that you would like to do with your children. This is a really nice simple project for little ones that like to sew and craft. Um, it's just a great thing and the girls have really had fun so why don't I show you what we're doing. Okay, to, so to start out, you're going to cut a long uh, rectangular piece of fabric. I believe this piece she has is just a little over three inches in width, length, oh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The shorter you cut it, the less scrunchy it will be. So for example, here's one that um, might not have had as long of a rectangle, but the longer it is, the more scrunched up the fabric will be. So it just depends on preference and how you want your, your scrunchie to be. But this is the rectangle that she cut out and then all she's going to do is fold it in the middle with the right side of the fabric folded in. Just like that. And then she's going to pin it in place. Okay. So she's just kind of pinned it to hold it in place and then all she's going to do is just sew along the edge there to make what's like a little tube. Just like this. Just kind of sewing a tube of the fabric. Now that she has her sewn tube of fabric, she needs to turn it inside out. So there are a couple ways you can do this. If your tube is large enough, you can just simply use your fingers and do it. If it's a little smaller, sometimes it's easier to use um, something like a knitting needle here and you can kind of push a little fabric through and then you poke the knitting needle on the edge right here like Elizabeth is doing. And that just kind of continues to push along. Obviously the larger the tube of fabric is, the easier this process is going to be. If you get it super skinny, then this can kind of take a little while to work the, the fabric through. But girls are kind of becoming pros at this because they've been working on scrunchies now for about 24 straight hours. They found a new project that they really love. How many scrunchies do you think you girls are going to make? Uh, a million. <laughs> a million? <laughs> uh, I don't know. One in every color? You'll have a whole rainbow of scrunchies? Well, we do have part rainbow, but it's, it doesn't have all the colors. Not all the colors yet? Yeah, but this will be a nice blue look. It matches oh, that, my... yeah, that could match your shirt. That's really pretty. <clears throat> what about you, buddy? So now Grace has a piece of elastic that she's cut and um, this is the elastic that we're using simply because that's what we had in the house. You could use a smaller type elastic however you want it but I like this. This is a, this is a nice um, size and a good strength. And then obviously the, long, the longer your elastic is the bigger your scrunchie would be. I have thick hair so I need a nice long piece. If you have thinner hair you could use a shorter piece. But then what she's going to do is take her little strip of elastic and put a safety pin through one side. And that safety pin is sort of is like a, a little anchor she can hold on to. Now she's going to put that through her little tube and just kind of hold on to that safety pin as she pushes that through there. Elizabeth's doing the same thing now, just pushing her strip of elastic through the little fabric tube that they've made. Now that
that she is done uh, put it, pushing the elastic through, she's going to remove her safety pin and then just tie off her elastic. And you want to make sure you make a really nice, secure knot that won't come undone inside your little fabric tube. So she ties it and then just gives it a really good yank. There we go. Make sure it's tight and it won't come undone. And then just snips off the edges. Now this is probably the most difficult part. So what she's going to do is she's going to take one edge of her tube and she's going to tuck it in so that that raw edge of fabric is sort of hidden inside the tube. And then what she's going to do is tuck the other side into that and then flatten it out nice and neat. And then she's just going to sew right along that edge. And that's what's going to hold her scrunchie together. Okay, so now she's just going to sew right along this spot where the two ends of the tube are connected. She's going to do a straight stitch right down that, that seam. And this one's all done. So she just kind of scrunched the fabric around so it's all kind of evenly distributed. And then she's got a nice little scrunchie that she can put in the hair and add to her pile here. They've just been working like crazy making scrunchies. So this is a nice project for little hands here. It's easy enough. They can accomplish it on their own with very little guidance. And then they have something at the when they're done that is usable by all of the ladies here in the house. Mom's happy. I've got something to hold my horse mane back now. <laughs> and the girls are happy because they have a fun new project now. They have a goal to just make every color of the rainbow. So in every scrunchie they make, they get a little better at it and um, hoping that maybe they can make some gifts for people here coming up with this process they've learned. But now it's time to go get our lunch bread. It's been rising here. I'm going to go get that in the oven and we're going to move ahead with our day. Now while our bread is in the oven, I'm noticing that our downstairs area is just kind of out of control, a little cluttery and messy. So I'm going to call all the troops down and we're all going to work together and get this picked up before lunch. much better here. We're all ready to eat lunch now. We got David got the fire going back up. Gracie's finishing up her sewing. Got some toys put away. Just waiting on our bread. Yeah. Bread is done. We're just gonna let this cool before we slice it for lunch. And I have a little man over there that is getting quite fussy and ready for bed. So I need to get this all plated up quickly so we can get him to sleep. Okay. 
kids are eating lunch and I'm going to put Benjamin down for a nap. I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial on making scrunchies and um, if you're looking for a fun thing for your children to do, I highly encourage you to try it out as a project. They'll really enjoy it. And I hope your day is blessed. We'll talk to you later. Bye.